and it is good to have you join us for the evening prayer. We begin this evening by connecting with our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai, who go back 8,000 years, to the prophet Enoch. Excuse me. We entered the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Wednesday evening we commune with the angel of love, saying, Angel of love, descend upon my feeling body and purify all my feelings. Whilst this is being recited, the feeling body both sends and attracts superior currents of feeling energy to and from all beings on earth and all those in the cosmic ocean of love. <clears throat> and now we begin the office of Vespers. We're in the octave of Christmas. O oh God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help me. And together we say, Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the hymn this evening is Afar from where the sun doth rise to lands beneath the western skies homage to Christ our King we pay. Born of the Virgin's womb this day Blessed Creator thou didst take a servant's likeness for our sake, and didst in flesh our flesh restore, to bid thy creatures live once more. Chaste was the womb where thou didst dwell, of heavenly grace the hidden cell. Nor might the blessed maid proclaim whence her dread guest in secret came. Down from on high God came to rest, his glory in a sinless breast. Obedience at his word believed, and virgin innocence conceived. Ere long that holy child she bore, by Gabriel's message named before, whom yet unborn with eager pride, the swift forerunner prophesied. Fast doth he sleep where straw doth spread, A humble manger for his bed, A mother's milk that strength renewed, Which gives the birds of heaven their food. Glory to God, the angels cry, Earth hears the echo from on high, Mankind's true shepherd and its Lord, By shepherd hearts, is first adored, and the first antiphon for this evening is <clears throat> we are waiting in hope for the blessings of the glorious coming of our Saviour. And now we read Psalm 61. In God alone is my soul at rest, my help comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouths they utter blessing, but in their hearts they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul, for my hope comes from Him. 
He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed in the scales they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. And now we pray the glory together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, <coughs> excuse me, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We are waiting in hope for the blessings of the coming of the glorious Saviour. And the second antiphon, let God bless us. Let his face shed its light upon us. And now we read Psalm 66. Excuse me. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. And now we pray the Gloria together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let God bless us. Let his face shed its light upon us. The third antiphon, all things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Now we read a canticle from Paul to the Colossians. Let us give thanks to the Father Mother God, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of their beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and all things belong to him. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, 
making peace by the blood of his cross. Now we pray the glory together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. And now we have a reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the reading is from Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject to the law, to redeem the subjects of the law and to enable us to be adopted as sons and daughters. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, The word became flesh, alleluia, alleluia. And he lived among us. The word became flesh, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. The word became flesh, alleluia, alleluia. And the Magnificat Antiphon for Wednesday, the 2nd of Jan, is Blessed is the womb that bore you, Christ, and blessed are the breasts that suckled you, for you are the Lord and Saviour of the world. Alleluia. And there's another one. Heavenly power enters the womb of the chaste mother. The maiden carries within her a secret which she does not understand. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me in the Magnificat, the Canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God who is my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty does great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. And now we pray the Gloria together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Heavenly power enters the womb of the chaste mother. The maiden carries within her a secret which she does not understand. We come to evening prayer, and now I invite you to share any requests that you might have. Let us turn in prayer to Christ who emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave. He was tempted in every way that we are, but did not sin. Response, save us through your birth. Coming into our world, Lord Jesus, you opened the new age which the prophets foretold. In every age may the church come again to new birth response. Save us through your birth. You took on our human weakness. Be the eyes of the blind, the strength of the weak, the friend of the lonely. Respond, save us through your birth. Lord, you were born among the poor. Enrich them with your love. Excuse me. Respond, save us through your birth. Your birth brings eternal life within man's reach. Comfort the dying with hope of new life in heaven. Response, save us through your birth. 
gathered the departed to yourself and make them radiant in your glory. Response, save us through your birth. And now we pray for each other's intentions. We pray for those who have joined us this evening. And we have Elizabeth and Eleanor from, from Philadelphia. We have Sue from Blackpool with her family. And we have Nirmala and Kida. We pray for each other. We pray for the whole family of God, regardless of belief, regardless of the color of our skin, and regardless of whatever politics we have, for we are all equal. It's just a shame that in the eyes of God there is such disparity of justice and such inequality within the ranks of his children. So tonight we pray for fair play and justice for the whole family of God. We bring tonight Joey, our friend who's in prison in America, friend of Fee. We bring all those on death row. We remember this evening especially the homeless who are living rough in this heavy rain. We pray for children of the world, that they will be protected and loved, that they will be nurtured and treasured. We pray for the elderly, those who are alone and afraid of living in the modern world. We pray for all doctors, nurses, paramedics and ancillary staff who care for our sick and wounded around the world. And we pray, we pray for peace, especially in the hearts of every child of God. And we pray for those countries that are still locked in war, in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Israel and Palestine, and in Egypt. We pray for a reawakening in the heart of every child of God. A simple knowledge that we are loved by God regardless, regardless of who we are or what we are, that we are loved, we are accepted and we are unique. Let us pray for those who have no faith, no belief, for those who've been wounded by religion, and they are many, for those who've given up faith in a loving God, for those who are mentally ill, who are physically disabled. Let us bring all the needs of all our brothers and sisters from around the world, and the many who ask you and me to pray for them, let us remember them now, just for a moment. <clears throat> and now, we come into the presence of God with confidence in our heart. For we know that whatever we ask of God in the name of Christ, it will be given to us. They are the words and promises of Jesus. And he also said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. So now let us give thanks to God for our blessings this day. As we say, our Father, Mother, God, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us tonight our daily bread, forgive us, forgive us our tre trespass, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever.
deliverer. Amen. And now we pray. Almighty, ever-living God, light of every faithful soul, fill the world with your glory and reveal to all nations the splendor of your presence. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear brothers and sisters, brings an end to our evening prayer this Wednesday evening. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet Bonum. Om Shanti. Solo de Caritas. Peace. Good night and God bless you. And thank you.